All right, that looks good. Okay, good. All right, time to do this. 973. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very nervous today. I'm going for overall win, number 973. There is so much food sitting in front of us. I am very excited because I am back in the Cape Coral, Florida area, part of Southwest Florida. We are here back with Mr. Jeff Diamond. He is going on two losses so far, so we're gonna get him a win today. We are all here at Paradise Deli and Grill here in Cape Coral, Florida. We are here with the owner, Tracy. She is going to help explain this North versus South food challenge that we have today. Tracy is from upstate New York and she's here in Southwest Florida. Tracy, what all do we have? Right here, we've got our Jersey Turnpike for all our Northerners. This has our Taylor pork roll, cheese, and egg. We've got our Southern skillet for all of our Southerners. Home fries, sausage gravy, eggs, and toast, and cheddar jack cheese. We have a bacon, lettuce, and tomato, only it has the fried green tomatoes we've all grown to love. Bang bang sauce also instead of mayonnaise. We have our New Yorker. It has our navel pastrami and corned beef, onions, Swiss cheese, provolone, and Swissy mustard made here. And then our best darn Reuben, which obviously Reuben, it is corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and Thousand Island. All and right. then he's going to finish with my favorite, the blackened prime rib sandwich. And it is about a half pound, a little over a half pound of prime rib blackened with provolone cheese and onions. And then our house made kettle chips. Yes, which they make here. So big thank you to Tracy for having us in. We've got one hour to finish. If we fail, this entire meal is gonna be around $70. But if we win, we will get our entire meals for free. We will get sweet t-shirts at our collections, kind of like what Tracy is wearing. And we're hoping to be the first two people up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. <laughs> All right, we just have this challenge to do and then one more coming up in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and then I get to go home for a break. I'm very, very excited about that, but I'm even more excited because today, Jack is gonna dominate. He is gonna get a win, so let's go, Jack. <laughs> Two almost finishes, and today he's gonna dominate. Big thank you to Tracy, her staff, everybody here with Paradise Deli and Grill. One, two, three. Bam. I'm gonna start off with this New Jersey Turnpike. This is one of the breakfast things. This is a lot of food. I'm gonna try to do as little water as possible to start off. Last bit of the pork roll New Jersey Turnpike. I was gonna do this breakfast skillet, but first let's do, this does have bacon and some fried green tomatoes on it. Let's do the BLT first. I've had more fried green tomatoes during this Florida tour than I have during my entire previous flight. Thankfully, they're very good. I wish I had more earlier on. If I have room later, they've got a whole bunch of amazing looking desserts here. That southern BLT was yummy with those fried green tomatoes and all that bacon. Now let's work on the southern skillet. Let's do that and then work on this plate here. Jack is doing a great job. Let's keep it up, Jack. He played a bunch of hockey today, so he's feeling good.
scraping up the last bits of this breakfast. That gravy is delicious. Twelve minutes and twenty seconds in, I am on to the second platter. Mr. Jack's already on it. I am going to start off with the blackened fried rim sandwich. Thirteen fifty-seven. Oh, we're getting there. A lot of onions on this thing. They are delicious. What do you think so far, Jack? Oh, everything's fantastic. I'm looking forward to the Reuben. It's my mm. favorite. Right at 17 minutes in, we're kicking butt. Jack definitely is. I'm starting to fill up. This is bigger than last night, and I struggled last night with all those Culver's burgers. But we're gonna get it. That blackened prime rib sandwich was tasty. I don't think I've ever had a prime rib sandwich before, at least not in a long time. But I'm gonna finish these home cooked chips. Do you guys have like an, a dipping sauce, like an au jus or something? Yeah. You do, yes. Can I get some of that, please? That is a game changer. Can I use this au jus to help get these sandwiches down? Jack is down to his prime rib sandwich. Let's go, Jack. I am having an off day today, but I still have plenty of time to catch up. Let's do this thing. Done with half of the New Yorker. We're 27 and a half minutes in. Ooh, let's finish the other half. That steak is really tender. He's almost done. Come on, Jack. I've been rushing to keep up with Jack, but he is going to finish ahead of me. Oh. We do have 30 minutes to go still. We just passed 30 minutes in. Oh, let's get it down. Jack, Jack, Jack. seconds even. Great job, Jack. Well done. What did you think? What was your favorite uh, of the six? I would say that steak sandwich. Well, good, good, good. I am not sure yet because I haven't uh, started on my Reuben sandwich, <laughs> but let's finish off this New York sandwich. Big congrats to Jack for being the first winner. Let's hopefully be number two. Last bit of the sandwich. Yeah. Had a piece of meat in my own shoe. Gotta leave no doubt. Tons of time. All kinds of time. Getting some air out. I think we can do it. We've got fresh au jus sauce. Fresh Diet Pepsi, not a fresh attitude, but we're still gonna get it. I don't think the OJU is gonna help with that. 
Doesn't really go with the Thousand Island. I was just say a whole different flavor. They do serve bottled beer here, but we are not doing a beer show. That's also for sure. <laughs> the student became the teacher today. <laughs> Jack kicked my butt, but oh, as long as I win, I will be happy. I think I'm inspired by Mr. Jack over here. That's a phenomenal time. Ooh. Have a slice of bread, but also lots of healthy sauerkraut. Uh, we gotta finish out this tour with all wins, which we have been lately. So uh, we just got this little bit left and then we got the victory. What words of wisdom do you have for me while I finish? <laughs> Don't chew. Mm. I got quite a bit of exercise in today, but apparently not enough. My personal trainer, Katina, has been slapped. I'm just kidding. Make sure there's nothing left, leaving no doubt. I think the most exciting thing is, is that I'm off tomorrow. I finally get to try. I've heard about them this entire trip while in Florida. I cannot wait to try a Chicken Tenders Pub Sub tomorrow from Publix. So everybody's been talking about them. I can't wait to try one. But uh, for now, we are done eating for today other than maybe dessert. Dominated the challenge. <laughs> Good job to Mr. Jack Diamond. He's got the record here. You heard his time earlier. I am the second person to win the North versus South Food Challenge here at Paradise Deli and Grill in Cape Coral, Florida of Southwest Florida near Fort Myers. My finishing time, 53 minutes and 17 seconds. Yes! Thank you guys all for being with me. I appreciate the support. You guys all sticking with me. I've got to say, I really enjoyed the five sandwiches and then that breakfast skillet that I had towards the beginning. Big thank you to Tracy, her entire team at Paradise Deli and Grill here in Cape Coral. For Jack, it was well over 100. He's got over 100 wins all around southwest Florida where he lives now and then in the Pennsylvania area uh, where he used to live in a few other states. For me, it was overall win number 973, win number four in Cape Coral, Florida, win number five in southwest Florida, but we are each going to get our around $70 meals for free. We will each get sweet t-shirts to add to our collections and we'll be the first and second people up on the wall of fame here at Paradise Deli and Grill in Cape Coral. Thank you guys for watching.